we out here plane spotting trying to catch the new Star Wars. I've been trying to catch it forever. Hold on, interruption. So anyways, trying to catch the new Star Wars and it's a 737, uh, it's United's new plane. And we're out here trying to catch it because it's been a couple months. Yeah, it's been flying. I've just I haven't been able to get it. Sorry about the radio traffic. Is this exposed good? Oh, this is okay. Okay, so I'm using an app. It's called Flight Radar 24, and basically it tracks planes so we know when they're coming in. So that plane that just landed was the Frontier, and so it will tell you all the info about it. Oh all the info about it and you can press more info and you can get all kinds of stuff like you click this one right here and it'll even tell you what gate it's parking at so so you can see that's the one we're trying to get it's a star wars special livery so some of you might wonder how we get up over the fence and we don't we don't climb fences and we don't get up close to the fences because it's a security issue so we actually use a ladder and you can see that i'm the cool thing is that the sky looks pretty cool right now so we're probably going to get some really, really nice sunset hopefully here soon. There's a lot of sand in the air from the Sahara Desert. Houston, tower wind, 17012, runway 8 left, to go to land. So Star Wars is on final right now. Luckily, it's on the runway we're close to, which is eight left. Sometimes, whenever it's approaching, you can't tell where. I'm gonna read it off. Hold on. My other half's over here smiling. I mean, it's it's really weird. I never vlogged before, so I'm talking to this camera and she's watching me. Does she want Does she want to be on camera? Say hi. Hi. Oh, that's it. That's all you get. Thanks, babe. We just got it. Finally, it only took me three months to get this plane. We got lucky and picked eight left because we think that's probably the most probable option. What usually happens is that when it gets real busy and there's a bunch of planes on top of each other, they split it up between two runways when, it come, when it's in this kind of configuration. But it's a little bit different these days with the, um, you know, that thing that must not, must not be mentioned that we should not say name of. Wait, is that the line? Anyways, you get the idea. Thou who shall not be named. Thou who shall not be named. Hopefully you get that reference. Comment if you do. All right, so let's talk about camera settings. And so the like camera settings for something like this would be for beginners, you wanna be on your fast shutter, meaning like it's gonna do a bunch of frames at once. Then what you wanna do is you want to bring your shutter speed up to where you're gonna freeze the action. And so freezing the action is gonna make a nice sharp, clear photo and you'll get some pretty sweet stuff. And here comes the truck. Smoking it out. You just blew a cloud. And then if you want to do a thing called panning, you're going to have to bring your shutter speed down. You know, I mean, if it's moving quick, one over 125 or even slower, you can get down to one over 60 and still be able to do it. And the more, the slower your shutter, the more blur you're going to get, the more separation you're going to get between your subject and your background. FedEx 767. Sketchy, but so worth it. Something. Hold on. That is? Carrie and Nate, we love them. Carrie and Nate. because we went to all these places. I'm going to take credit though as I found them first. 
I found them first. I'm more obsessed. I found them first, and then I showed, was like, hey, you should you should watch this. And then now she's watched every single one, which I have not. All like 714. So, videos. Yeah, 714 videos. 714 videos. We love them. We were going to go to Tennessee and act. Their 100 country party. 100 country party, but what did we do? We didn't go. We couldn't go because it was the flights were like. It was like, eight, like 800 bucks for both of us to fly round trip. Yeah. Maybe we'll see them. Hey, they're they're gonna be driving around in Maybe a van. Maybe they come to Houston. And they come to Houston or somewhere, and we'll just say what's up. Dude, we should get a second bed, and we can have them stay with us. Karen Day, if you see this, we want to meet you. Please, please, please. We're tagging Karen Day. We'll, we'll tag you. Or is there tagging in YouTube? Yeah, in the comment, we could tag them. And I'm watching my lips talk, and it distracts me from my conversation. <laughs> Is that a thing? I only see my forehead. And now I don't get distracted. <laughs> all right, we're gonna eat some snacks. Blocking all the sun. All right, so the next plane is a uh, FedEx. Looks like a, uh, a 206. So that's a 206, 208. Uh, prop on the front, runs on jet fuel. It's called turbo prop. You wanna blur the prop to make it look like the plane's flying. If you freeze the prop, I meaning you have fast shutter speed, it makes the, just makes it look kind of funny. Like it's floating in air. Uh, shutter priority because it's easier. Auto ISO because it's easier. And then all I gotta do is mess with the shutter speed. So one over 90. Oh, here it is. my back facing that way and my body facing that way I was, wasn't turned right so like it's important to, I don't know double chin right way so then you when you twist you know then my feet are stuck I'm on a ladder so I have to make sure I'm ready to go for the turn for the pan because you got to like keep the pace with the plane while you're photographing it so you can get the plane sharp but also get the proper blur because we're, we're shutting we're shooting at really low shutter speed a319 on uh, long final here uh, hopefully they'll check in soon on the radio so you can get to hear the radio traffic. That is 1201, visual 8 left, good evening. That's 1201, Houston Tower, good evening, wind 150 at 14, runway 8 left, clear to land. Clear to land 8 left, and at 1201, thanks. Was that the fakest smile you've ever seen, or what? I tried doing like portrait mode, portrait mode. I started doing that so I could try to maybe get some more artistic look because everybody takes a, takes a photo with it landscape and always takes it, you know, like center of the frame. And I just try to mix it up because I feel like to differentiate myself from other people. Oh my God, it's a big B. Oh, that thing's huge. Composition, I wish I do different compositions. So maybe, you know, I know there's like rule of thirds, other stuff, but I just try to do something different. And eventually, the more different things you do, the better you'll get. And eventually, you'll get some really cool shots that you could you could show to you know your buddies. All right, we have an AT20 next. And maybe I should screenshot this stuff so y'all can see what I'm looking at. I'll screenshot it and put it on the in the frame over here. Ooh, I just got a whiff of jet fuel. What's that candle company make? Yankee Candle. I want you to make Jet A candle. I buy it. Oh, fix my feet. I'm just messing it up. come to check us out here I don't know if you can see them but airport oh it's custom so I think customs was just coming to check us out 
and just patrol by to make sure, you know, we're not doing anything. Spray and pray, baby. Side note, I only have 41 shots left on this car. Update, customs did not come over here. Truman Cargo 462 Heavy Houston Tower, good evening, and 18012, I'm ready, left, critical end. All right, last plane for the day, 777. Wingspans are so legit on that thing. see that one shot one shot left ready all right we out i might have got one shot bummer it's real close i ran out of memory oh really mm -hmm. that was the last shot 